Hi, this is Julian Stout, licensed PE teacher, licensed personal trainer, and world record powerlifter here to help you take the fear out of fitness and be the best you. So, what's going on, everybody? Um, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Um, go ahead and click like if you like this video. Um, over the course of this time frame, I am going to be giving you some tips and knowledge on being the best version of yourself possible so um today we're going to talk about the creature of habit the power of habit now one of the things that people don't realize is is that everything you do is a habit and 90 percent of your habits are subconscious right so how do you take your conscious and become subconscious or unconscious right um the truth is is that most people don't do things because they want to do them they do them because that's what they are taught to do and as a result the the constant repeat of being taught or the rewards of what you were taught is what you will continue to do because pleasure is greater than pain right so um one of the things that i am doing right now is I am re I'm reading a book um to help me become better at training even though I'm pretty good at it right now I want to be even better at it so not only in training but also in teaching so this here is what I'm doing um it's actually very simple and 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 it's laughable on how simple it is because you already know this stuff. You ever had something that you knew already, but you weren't doing it because you were doing something completely different because you thought you were doing some next level stuff? Well, the truth is, there's no next level stuff. So what you do is start doing things on a small level. So let's talk about going to the gym and working out, right? Um, when you are coming to the gym to work out, the truth is, I wouldn't even go work out. I would literally get up, get dressed, and put on my clothes, drive to the gym, or walk to the gym, or ride to the gym, however you get to the gym the fastest, sit there for five minutes, and then go home. You heard what I said. Get up, get dressed, do all the things you need to do to get ready, Drive down there, wait five minutes, sit in the parking lot, and then go back home. So, um, the reason why I'm telling you this is because you have to create the habit of going. Now, once you've created the habit of going, it's going to take a while. But once you created the habit of actually getting up and going, commit to that. Just that much, right? And when you do that, what I would suggest then you do is go in the gym. And then work on one exercise every day. If you're really adverse to exercise, just go in there, learn one exercise, do that one exercise, leave and go home. And then eventually when you get the hang of it, when you start feeling like you could do a little bit more, go and do one more thing and then go home. So literally it's going to take you a while. It might even take you six months to get this done. And once you are in the gym on a regular basis doing a complete exercise routine because you're doing three sets of every exercise from top to bottom, chest, back, shoulders, arms, legs, you can then decide what you're going to do next. What is the next challenge? Because we're not looking at weight loss. We're not looking at muscle building. We're not looking at improving your cardio. We're not looking at improving your muscular endurance. You're already doing that just by going. Now, once you have decided what your next level of training is going to be, now it is time for you to start varying things up and making decisions on what body part you're going to work. You're going to work all chest. You're going to do chest and triceps. Are you going to go back and biceps? Are you going to go um, back and triceps? Are you going to work the same? You know, there's a whole bunch of different versions that you could do. And... Once you've decided what you're going to do, then do it. 
And now that you're in the habit of going, when you don't go, it's like tearing off your left arm. Yes, I go on vacation. I don't work out for some time, especially if it's not convenient for me to go. And what I mean by convenient, I don't mean that it it gets me out of my warm, comfy bed. I mean, like, how far is the gym, the nearest gym to where I'm at? So if the nearest gym is literally like 40 miles and I'm not from where I'm at or I'm not, I don't live where I'm at, then it's going to be really hard for me to get to that gym. And so I wouldn't go, but I do some push-ups, I do some sit-ups, do some lunges, stuff like that, just to keep my body relatively in shape. But the overall notion is, is that it's a creature of habit for me. I'm not just going to not do it at all. So um, when we are trying to do things, we do them in chunks, do them in small bits. Don't try to go and go all ham and trying to, you know, trying to lose 150 pounds in six months. You know, that's that's not realistic because you haven't done it. If you if you were doing it, it would have been done already, right? So as a result, I, I su strongly suggest that people do in fact just take their time with it unless it is dire that you change things now. And then even then, now you've got the Grim Reaper running behind you now and now you have motivation in a different way. So now you don't have to worry about habit because you have the Grim Reaper chasing you and that's motivation enough for most people. Some people it's not. But if you really genuinely, truly want to do this on a day to day basis and develop the habit of going, do exactly what I said so that you could be the best you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, follow me, Facebook, on Instagram and on YouTube. Guys, go ahead and click that like button. I really appreciate it because I get this message out to everybody out here in the planet. Have a nice day and be the best you. Oh, <laughs>